Yo, what up gamers, Vipardark here bringing you an Aphelios ADC gameplay video. As usual, we're going to be doing the Kraken Slayer into Collector build. Or, well, just any kind of method into Collector should work as well. Uh, in case you're not aware, Aphelios got buffed a few patches ago. Where they buffed the lethality of the games from a Z. So, these days, you want to max that second on Aphelios because it gives such a large amount of lethality. And you also want to take Collector second because lethality synergizes with lethality. Uh, so that build is going to give you an insane amount of DPS as well as burst. And that sets you up for a really nice mid game and late game. Makes Aphelios really broken as well right now. Okay, so the matchup is going to be Aphelios into Zaya, Thresh into Ziggs. Um, I would say they probably have overall the advantage here. But uh, later on we stand the chance if we hit the Thresh engage. Probably going to get poked a little bit earlier on though. Need to stay away from the Ziggs here. Yeah, see, even right now, level 1, even when he hits a hook, I don't actually have anything to follow it up with because I don't have abilities to level 1. Want the shove here. Okay, now I can follow up a hook better. Clean poke there. That was not so clean. Good shit, Thrash. Well played. Really needed to flash there. Did she even heal? Oh, she did heal. Okay. Oh, why? Thrash, why? You just made me miss that kind of You didn't have a stack yet. Oh, that sucks. Whatever. Potentially I could have missed it, right? At least one of us got it. Alright, we're gonna back here. Or I'm gonna back here. Please don't. Not even close. I wonder if he had vision there. Probably not, right? Or he would have just thrown it directly on me. Yeah, Pedestix does not want to be running into Vi in the jungle, but it's fine. He was prior. Kind of greedy of Thresh to say, because now I'm going to I'm gonna eventually inevitably face this annoying situation where Thresh decides, yeah, now's a good time for me to back, and he backs, and then I'm going to be 1v2. On Balin, you always want to synchronize your backs as much as possible. This is going to be real annoying for me to have to lane 1v2 for no reason later on. That aim. There wasn't even any champions on the screen at the time. We're just gonna freeze here. Cleaning that out slightly. Place my pink here. Nice. Fresh fly. Oh wow, he even dies. I'm not gonna bother healing there. I don't think he lives anyway. Well, that sucks. He was he he wasn't like there was no reason for him even to be that close to the turret. Especially like the only reason he was even there was because he flashed to steal my kill. <laughs> Oh well, it is what it is. In the past. I'll make mistakes. Okay, but the six is being annoying. Oh my lord, I see why. 
Wait, I missed? That's fine. Now Zaya's here. Oh, now Vaya's here. Make it a party. Is she gonna heal to get him range here? Good shit. What? Thresh, why? Dude, I've got three assists, man. This is just making me cry at this point. Alright, we shoved this in. I won't bother going for the plating, I just want to back. Nice, we're about to get a Drake. An Ocean Drake as well, that's huge. It's the best early, best early game Drake. I'll just go for the Berserkers. If I could afford the full Nimquiver, I probably would have done that, but... Lacking that option, I'll just do the full Berserkers instead. Close fight. Yeah, Berserker's Rush is really good on Aphelos, by the way, because uh, you get a lot of AD just from your passive, so that makes you skill with really good with any attack speed that you buy. Berserker's is the most cost efficient source of attack speed early game. Well, it's just the most cost-efficient source of attack speed, period, honestly. So now I'll place another point in my E. I already got 9 lethality. Okay, I was about to say, we need to get some better vision down. Uh, this guy's in level 6. Can't really kill though. Or, wait, what is he doing? Hmm. Okay, yeah, Thresh needs to be a manager to walk up here. And also just engage. Oh, that's good. Okay, we see fiddlesticks in their jungle. Should have just walked up a flayed there since he was so close to her. Yeah, he realized too late. I think he ended up realizing, hey, why didn't I just flare there? And then tried to go for the flayed while it was too late. I don't actually want to shove here. I would be fine just... Freezing the wall. Um, I don't know how close for the six was to six. Got a drinker though, finally. Nice ward. I'm not gonna lie, that's happened to me before. I can't judge her too hard. This happened to me plenty, actually. I was trying to ward over this wall. There's a certain spot in the wall where you can click to get the ward, like all the way in there from here. Like right on this rock, I think. I'll test it right now just to show, but I don't have a trinket. Either show you or to look like an idiot, one or the other. Come on, fresh. Good shit. Oof, just not quite a kill, I guess. Oh well. Wait, how did I end up with green and blue? You're meant to end up with green and purple at this point. I guess at one point I must have accidentally got rid of uh, blue too early. Oh well. It was probably in a fight, in a messy fight, where I didn't get the choice of which weapon to expand first. Anyway, it's not a big deal. <coughs> you would rather have uh, blue and purple here, but honestly it's one of my least favorite combos anyway. 
And you can easily bypass this just by getting rid of green super fast. And spam green and base, which makes it easier. I'm gonna wait for another lo or for a longsword here. The only other alternative is a pink. Which I guess now would need to be replaced. But I'm sure Thresh is a pink. No, he does not. Okay, we can just roll without a pink. That's fine. Oh, should that hit? Nice. Oh, uh, we do need some vision somewhere, man. I have no idea where Fiddlesticks is right now. Like, I don't want to walk up even though Zaya looks free here. Okay, we see Fiddle in the jungle now. <laughs> nice crit. Yeah, now we freeze. Probably should have left that Mila alive actually. Oh yeah, well it doesn't really matter if Thresh does that either way. Not a freeze now, it's just a slow push. Yeah. I wanna freeze here. I wanna shove this in. I just wanna deny as much problem as possible. Just by freeze. Ultimate is more important than mine, honestly, so I'm glad for that trade. Oh shit, what's going on here? What's their vein here? Thank you. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. She's gonna die to minions. Wait, I'm too busy paying attention to that. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to my purple Q in case she flashes. Good shit. <coughs> I need to get rid of purple here before blue. God, how I do I keep getting aggro, man? Oh well. Ooh, wait, look at this massive healing I can get just by using blue Q on the mini wave when I've got red. It's uh, even bigger later on in the game, too. It would have also been a crit, that would have also been a way more bigger, or way more massive heal. <coughs> Here we go for the Kraken Slayer, just because I feel like holding the damage, honestly. We'll do this. Build as much as we can towards the Collector. Mm, they might surrender soon. Unfortunately, our entire team is stomping, sadly. That may be top lane, but... Still doing well. I don't want to shove here. Even though it's past laning phase, like, I don't have any reason to shove here. Oh shit, that's right against the wall. Okay, mm, I guess I didn't really need to heal. Okay, good shit. If I just shove the wave the moment I entered the lane, that just pushes it into vein and she can just farm that safely. Why would I do that? Because it's a mid-game doesn't mean you have to like handshake waves. Yeah, there's the surrender. Yeah, that's one big thing. Uh don't mindlessly shove big uh shove waves in the mid-game or the late game. If you have nothing to like do uh after shoving, then just stay around, just slowly loss at the wave. And in the meantime, it'll deny CS uh, and XP from the enemy. And if they don't let themselves get denied, well, they potentially put themselves in a risky spot where something like that can happen. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment if you want to. Drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night, gamers.